So in this tutorial, I'm going to list the different methods that are given by the Cocos and Rice toolbox. So first of all, I'm going to open the Excel file toolbox function. This Excel file is provided inside the repository of the toolbox. So you can see that inside this Excel file, there are different sheets. Those sheets are uh, a breakdown of the different methods that are provided by the toolbox, by the class kst.m. So the first category is the networking. The functions in this category start by the initials net and et. So there are four different functions. Net establish connection used to establish connection to the robot. The turn off server is used to turn off the MATLAB toolbox server. Application uh, inside the controller of the robot. Net update delay gives statistics about the communication delay between the robot and the PC. I'm going to be speaking about this point in elaboration in a future tutorial. And then there is the net pink EWA. This method allows you to ping the robot as to know if the robot is reachable from MATLAB or not. So you can verify if you have uh, an error in connection between uh, your MATLAB and your uh, Kukaiwa controller. The second category is the soft real time control category. In this category, the user can control the robot in soft real time control mode. Uh, these control modes are available at joint level or at the factory level. As such, you can uh, change the motion of the robot in real time. This is by streaming the indefector positions or the joint angles to the robot. So uh, the methods in this category start by the initials, real time, or by the initial, the initials send. So the initials real time methods are used to start the control mode or to turn off the control mode, while the send methods are used to stream the and the factor position or the joint angles to the robot. The third category are the point to point motion category. Those functions or those methods start with initials move PTB or non blocking move PTB. Now, in such a case, the user only has to specify some parameters about the curve or the line that is going to be used and the velocity at which the indefector or the joints of the robot are going to move, then the robot and the software performs trajectory generation automatically and moves uh, the robot. So the user doesn't have to generate the trajectory. Uh, this is unlike the software time control functionality where you have to generate the trajectory you know, online in real time. Now, the soft real time control functionality is more dynamic. It allows you to generate the motion online based on uh, measurements from external sensors, for example, to perform collision avoidance in unstructured and dynamic environment. So you, you, your, your algorithm shall be smart as to generate the motion in real time, uh, but it's, uh, it's harder in the computer. The algorithm shall be smarter, so you have to, to make an effort in order to write this algorithm. On the other hand, the point-to-point -point motion function doesn't require you to do all of this work. All you have to do is to specify the destination point, for example, if you are moving on a line, you just specify the destination point to specify the motion on the line, and the software is going to perform the trajectory generation for you. The same is uh, when you want 
to move uh, on an arc or when you want to move on an ellipse. Now, physical interaction functions. So this category uh, provides some functionalities that are important for uh, human-robot uh, collaboration and physical interaction, like precision hand guiding, the hand guiding, like detecting touch or some other functions. Then the KST class provides methods for setting and for getting the different parameters of the robot, like for changing the outputs of the media flange or for getting the value of the inputs in the media flange or for getting the position of the in factor, its orientation, the first the moment acting the in factor, or for getting the torque's measurements at the joints. Then we have the general purpose functions. So those functions start with the initials gen, and they are used to calculate the different physical quantities that specify the robot in some configuration and some state. For example, you can use those functions to calculate the direct kinematics, the inverse kinematics, the gravity vector to, to or uh, the torques on the joints of the robot due to gravity. And you can calculate the inverse dynamics, the direct dynamics, mass matrix, or the Coriolis matrix, and the centrifugal matrix of the robot. Also, we can use those functions to calculate the shell Jacobian at some point on the structure of the robot or in order to calculate the null space projection matrix. Now, those functions are going to be explained in detail in later tutorials.